Hello everyone and welcome back to Alice Shovin here and we have been a bit busy. Off camera we've eventually lined our vineyards and our olive groves. And if we have a look here, look at the pH levels, they're all good. Same with our grapes, it took a bit of finagling. The spreader is just big enough and I do mean just big enough it was and uh, same with that 2.7 meter mold shirt we'll keep it for today we may have to use it tomorrow if we don't use it tomorrow or into august i may just go ahead and turn it but we will be buying that we've got 34 grand we've just been doing some contract work so we've got a baiting contract for slice bells and a one for hay for the hay, we did make four bells, but somehow I've lost the one bell somewhere on the hills. Might have rolled down somewhere, so we may have found a strain hay bell. However, if we look here, it says 9%, so I think that contract is glitched. However, we're still going to make three grand. Oh, sorry. Let me stop in the road out. But yeah, so make free ground for the contract, plus whatever we get from the silage. And the hay, I'm not too sure what's going to happen with that. We may lose out on some money there, if we do, so be it. Ooh, very, very wobbly happy there. But yeah, so we've been spending some money as well. We bought a new trailer. We've been asking about... What was it? Yeah, getting a non swivel axle trader, and I got one. Pretty substantial, so we'll go ahead and have a look at that in a moment because we're using that one for our silage. We've uncovered the silage pit and we've loaded it up. I think it's still got about another 8,000 or so litres left in there, so we'll go and get that a little bit at some point. But I'm in the rush to get that sorted. Now we'll go ahead and sell these bells here. Oops. Damn blue cars. So here we go. Don't expect too much money here. So yeah, hey, minus. Yeah, that's a bit glitch, I think. For some reason we can't get that one bell off. So yeah, it made 18 grand in bells, or 20 grand or so. Why is that one bell not coming off? I don't know what to do, I'll grab the John Deere. Oh good, didn't lose money on that contract, so that's good. So technically we got free hay for now, it was just a bit... Yeah. But it's not my fault. <laughs> there we go. And that bashing costed us, or gained us, 700 quid, so we're at 60 grand. And that ain't too shabby. And what I do... Yes, I'm going to put the trader here for now. We'll take it back for the John Deere soon. However, if we have a look at our animals. Yeah, we got, we're got we full of TMR again. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So, we need to sort that out. So... I think it's under trailer. Let's go buy a nice big old liquid tanker. Which one is it? Is it this one here? 79 grand, 50,000 litres, bit rich. Ah, that's better. 21, 21 grand for 67,000 litre capacity. And this will do water, milk, maple syrup, diesel, def, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, digestate, and slurry. And that is what we want. No, this is a reason really necessary, so we won't go with a realistic capacity. Ooh, copperhead. 
Illumination. Um, yeah, let's go with Inhalation Hazard. Let's pull Axel, why not? Yeah, let's go with a bit of vinyl. All defenders. Yeah, we'll have a trailer attacher, why not as well? For the cutter, I'm thinking. What about orange and copper? Oh, that looks good. Yeah, let's go with gloss. What is the design colour? I actually have no idea, so we'll keep that at chrome. No, can't tell what that is. But the ring colour will go with a copper. Oh, look at that, that looks pretty nice. So by that, next we'll need a dolly. We do need a lorry. Have a pretty expensive. We'll get more of a European vibe. We can go with the AWCOE versions here. Don't want to go with the Phoenix. Ooh, the next four four two oh two. That looks nice and rugged. 600 horsepower. However, that's outside of our price range, so... Actually, what, we could just lease it, couldn't we? Yeah, heck yes. Why not? Let's go ahead and lease that. Oops. Why am I driving? Yeah, I do love this little pick up here. Not only is it so fast in that, it's just so useful. It's suspension, it moves, it flexes in that. Oof. But yeah, so the plan for today, we was hoping for a harvesting contract on field 24. Because the barley. Oof. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> As I was saying, the barley is ready to harvest. However, the only barley field was field 24, and that, it just, the contract didn't pop up for us, gave it a couple of chances, but nope, and at the end of it, it just went, that's all, it went over, and someone else did it, or the farmer did it themselves, and they weren't no doing it for them, which is fair enough, is there a choice in that? But yeah, I want to test this out, because... As much as good as using a tractor, having a proper lorry or a little big old truck, whatever you want to call it. I think, yeah, we need to put this path in. I think we could do this in the fall. And as we don't, we can't use her, so what I may end up doing is simply get the wheel loader, get some logging forks attached to it, perhaps, or something. Squeeze. Cool there. But yeah, actually, also I'm thinking of how to get us out of here. So I felt with sorry. How I'm thinking. We've got to get rid of some of this, I think, because we need to put a nice dirt, dirt path in, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, we'll go... Landscaping... Paint... Let's put a nice good old gravel path in. Go. 
So I want it to come out of here. So if you look at that, you can make, make this a bit wider. Do we fit? Fit right. Perhaps a bit of tweaking here and there. Yep. Bit more tweaking, so we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, as I say, was gonna say. Also, what we need to do in today is the grass that needs to be mowed. That's it. I know we're losing crop and that. However, sacrifices need to be made for progress in that. There we go, so it's going to be a bit of a sort of tight exit. Just wide enough, and then plenty of width here to navigate. However, we do need to save the money, because the forge harvesting for the corn, though that ain't until... when is corn ready to harvest? Corn officially is ready to harvest in the fall. However, we may be able to harvest that early because we're making chaff. So I'm thinking around August or September. I think August or even July perhaps. We may be able to harvest it early. But the cost of that for the equipment is going to be 29 grand. Not including any traders, which I don't think we're going to need to use. And then we need a normal harvester for the wheat. Ignore that. And how much is going to be for a normal harvester? We could go with something like this, but I want to try experiments, I think, like stuff we don't normally use. Something like this, perhaps. So I think it cost about 13 grand. So if you look at headers and that. So we can go a bit bigger, I think. Something like a 12 meter header, perhaps. By the looks of it. Just having a look. So yeah, it's going to be... What, 30 grand plus 13, that's going to be 43, let's say 50 grand. 50 grand at the most we need to save. So what we're going to do, we'll take this over to the Surrey Pit. Or the Surrey Yard by Missy B. And that's the thing as well, with all this size that we're making, a potential good move, in my opinion, would be... Let's go ahead and buy the biogas plant. Because then we can put the sides in there and whatever else it accepts. If it accepts manure and that, fair enough. But actually, ooh, we're going to need the Surrey as well, so. The Surrey can be used. I think we'll sell the Surrey for now. But any future Surrey naps, we will use that for the biogas plant. Because BGA, as we did last time, was about 120 grand, so. So even harvesting is just around the corner as well, but then again we've got olive, not olive oil, sunflower oil, we've got planks, we've got furniture, so it's what I think would be alright overall. But yeah, in terms of how this is performing, it's actually performed quite nicely. Bear in mind we've gone the complete wrong way. Actually, let's see how this performs off road. It's not the it's not a full load, but I think because if we want to log in now, we need a login trader. Of which our new silage trader that we're using at the moment can be converted. Yeah, it's just having no problems here. Like steering is nice and smooth-ish. <laughs> 
perhaps we could do with her finding another collectible to help fund this. I think we'll we'll find one perhaps in the next episode if we need to, but but yeah, I do want to get this because this looks pretty nice. Aussie braking is a bit mm, perhaps because of the load or the brakes off the actual truck here. Truck slash lorry, not too sure. But anyway, so we'll go with saw this and see how much we can get. Decent amount of change. That is 21 grand. So now let's go and grab the milk. It's not going to be a lot, but let's see how much we can get for that. So we got bang on 11,000 litres of milk. And let's see how much we can get from this. But yeah, so just sort of having a little just a drive around with this. The braking seems to be with the truck itself, not to do with the weight. That is 16 grand, not too bad. But yeah, even when there's nothing attached, it does sort of seem to be a bit sluggish with the braking. Where it's a good thing, where it's a bad thing, I don't know. No. Yeah, okay, so let's break around about now. Break, break. Yes, it seems to stop like more of a realistic truck now. But yeah, I'm not too sure on it. Just not too sure. Um, we've got 23,000 years off manure. That's thing, we've only got 50 cows, so. I'm saying that, I was thinking, oh, we can get more cows, but at the moment we're struggling to feed them with manure, so... And we're going to need to cut this back as well, I think. More cutting. <laughs> yes, we could go the long way around, but... Okay, this is going to be more of a dirt thing. Go. Liking that. Trim these edges back a little bit. And more or less. Damn trailers in the way. So yeah, here we are. Anyways, let's look at our size trailer. So we'll go and park you there for now. We'll find a proper place to store that at some point. Ah, oh, dang it! What does it need? Oh, it needs a pin lock. A pin lock hitch. And that's just a. Wait a minute, well, in theory, I should be able to grab it, surely. Well, guess not, so. Bear with me a sec when I get the correct piece of equipment. Did I say the correct piece of equipment? I meant the sort of fucking piece of equipment. Come on, surely this should be able to link up. And not be too heavy. Ooh, look at that suspension. She is working. Yeah, <laughs> just look at that. Oh, poor truck. I am absolutely just pushing it for its paces. But, anyways, best place to sell silage is at the bell cell point basically. Can we go for here? There we go. Can we really? Oh, come on. Don't get stuck. Not now. Do the four-wheel drive trick off turning the wheels. 
are you moving slowly inch by inch oh, she's got a fat belly come on <laughs> oh, that is just great. Flattening the grass as well. But yeah, she is stuck for sure, so... Let's get the cavalry in and get this rescued, I think. <laughs> Man, leave it to me to get this stuck. At least we tried. A for effort. F or anything else besides <laughs> And this is Green Thunder One Bird here, and let's see if we can rescue this. I've got a strange feeling with the 1.8 ton weight. Maybe not, but we'll give it a try at least. So we want to lower the weight, I think. I get a strap on. Whoa! Okay, I did not like it. It's going backwards. Oh no, she's heavy. Plan B, which would be you. Got a nice 3.5 ton weight there at the back. Surely that's good for something. I think. Let's see what we can do here. How many pieces of equipment does it take for me to rescue this? As it may turn out, just about everything. And this is deep water as well. That is deep. Oh, you can tell where she's beached. It's that left end, so we need to get that free. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. It'd be nice if you had a second person in. I think I'm just careful that rear engine. Come on. Come on. Okay, if I leave it there a minute. Come on. Oh, no. <sighs> Need something like a wrecker. Oh no, we're just in the truck now. Don't drive in too deep into the water. Yeah, I know Houston. Come on. Almost there. We are almost there. Come on. Almost. Surely this should be enough now for it to work. Rather than you not watch me struggle here for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll bring you back at some point, hopefully still in the same month, when we get this thing unstuck. Just leave it to my driving to get myself into these situations. So oh, there we go, managed to get ourselves unstuck eventually. Yeah, it required pretty much everything. We required the John Deere, we required the JCB, I think, is it the Teganzer? What? Yeah. Oh no, the new Holland Teganzer. So I was going to pay the shop a bit of money just to uh, say a little thank you for helping get us unstuck. But to be honest, I think we could have just managed with obviously the wheel loader. Thank you, kind sir. Oh. Why are we 
dumping on the ground. I thought we can sell it here. Or not. Wait a minute, we're on call on. Man. Perhaps this is not a good trade for us. I guess it's just only bells accepted here. No, see, he's going in. See, we're making money, so why aren't we... Okay, that's a mystery. You know what? Um, let's just... Dump it here. Dump the whole lot. It's even a nice big old trail silage. Don't worry, we'll clean this up. I suppose we could take this to another sell point. Prices aren't that much different, but it's just the best, so. So yeah, bit of cleaning up to do, so yeah, bear with me a sec whilst I go ahead and get all this cleaned up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on that trailer. I think we just have to sell that and get our money back. Because uh, so that is crap. No offence, but yeah. And there we go, we got the silage eventually sold. So we ended up with just over 110 grand or so. However, I've took a decision and spent some money on some bits that I think is going to be worth it in the long run. Or at least, yeah, both of them should be. So if we have a look over here, you can perhaps see them already. If you look on to the right, we've got the Hessen from Entercido. Obviously you had to do a bit of groundwork in that and it's not the best of work so we may let's just go and try just clean it up a bit. So if we go behind go to landscaping Can we get you softened? Nope, not really. I guess it needs that as the base in that but yeah, I think the sort of water sort of creeps up a little bit and then trickles over, so that's what I've got to keep an eye on, but but yeah, we got the Hessen from Entrasido. This can do hay, grass, chaff and straw and convert that into silage, so that's gonna be pretty handy. How much I don't have too much straw left over. Of course cows need straw soon, so I may top them up, then perhaps shove the rest into the silo. Then worst case scenario, we can just go ahead and buy more bells, specifically for the cows. And uh, speaking of which, we've been having some issues with the capacity of how much milk we can store in these little containers, so what I've got in ball is two of these boys, the Motilus and they hold 55,000 litres each, so that's 110,000 litres plus like 10,000 litres, so we've got a lot of milk we can store, so... Here the cows moving away... Yep, so that's filled up at the moment of what we've got. But yeah, so that should really help us, but... For now, to round off the episode, I think what we'll do is go and get some silage done. So we're going to have to mow the grass and then pick up the forage wagon and then, yeah, we'll go from there and get it all fermented. It does about 120,000 litres per month, so 
if we can just do like a bulk storage, just sort of a massive bulk load of it, then happy days. to you. But yeah, we're we'll just trying to see how much crafts we can get away with just this should do all the areas we can have access to, reduce on the pathways like we did before. Not if we don't intrude onto other people's fields, I see it being a big issue with it. But yeah this shouldn't take too long I think yeah, it's yeah, just interesting how much we can get, how much money we can make. And now with all this money, we can pay off some of this 400 grand loan. And we can really do a paying off soon. At the moment, the interest is something like 1500 two grand a month. And I think that increases the longer we have the loan, so... Yeah, we want to pay it off as soon as possible. But in terms of equipment, now, as I said many times before, we don't need any more equipment. I think the other things we can do with is getting a trader, a little current side trader for the paddits. Perhaps, I don't know. Also, we need the mulcher and that for the vineyards. We've still got that out as owned or leased to us, so. You can redo really with buying that at some point, but again. No big rush for that. I'm trying to think of what else. Like perhaps a tether to make some hay. So I do want to make some hay bales at some point, or just bulk hay and sort it somewhere. Similar with straw that get good annual. Actually, can we do two grain crops a year? No, we can't. Actually, can we? If we say plant oats in March, harvest that in July, then we can plant, I don't know, something like wheat or barley and harvest that in June. So, yeah, we can do a two year, two crops in a period, but then, of course, the following year we can do one crop in that cycle, so. Perhaps we may try that. One worst case scenario, let's say we do and harvest the barley in June. For the rest of the year, that could be a nice grass field. Then in March, go ahead and plant oats. I think we've got a couple of choices, a couple of options. But as well, when we get more money, then we can buy more fields. Then we can say this fill is for this, this fill is for that, like for silage, for straw, for hay, for chaff. Actually, we're going to have a lot of chaff in the fall and that when we eventually go ahead and get our corn done. And uh, what's the wheat should be ready to harvest in August, I think it was, we planted it, so. And the corn will be ready to harvest in October. So it's going to be a busy fall. Sugar beets are maybe ready August, if not September. Actually, no, what's that? No, it's potatoes. So it's sugar beets. Yeah, October, November time. So hopefully we plant it early enough so we can harvest in October. Then we have the option to plant a winter crop. But anyways, we will continue on this, we'll see how much we can get, and um, yeah, good for now, and then we'll round off the episode, I think.
done, we are done, and we have got a lot of sight underway. If we have a look in here, we go down. In total, we've got 281,000 euros of grass currently being fermented. That's going to take just over two months to process. We've got 129,000 euros of chaff. Again, that's going to take about just over a month, and a little bit of straw that we had left over. That will take the entire night, and we've already got 70,000 litres of silage, so we're going to have a lot of silage to do. And make multiple trips to sell, so we may have to get in a bigger tree at some point. Actually, sir, I was looking at some traders, hopefully I've got it here. Because I really got a like a semi. Then we could get something like this, the lizard, underbelly, single tank, hundred ten thousand liters. If we look at the tires, they all seem all right. So, but yeah, also like agricultural tires. Yeah, have some beacons. No decals. Where's the license plate too? Ah, there. So, oh, colours. Just looking at the colour options and. We could get that very soon. However, I may just lease that out like I'm doing with the... Actually, what have I got? I've got leased out. Got a little trailer there. And the truck and the mulcher. So, yeah. So, we'll leave that there. However, the oil mill. That's going to run out of sunflower overnight. The green mill. So, we need to take this over. But yeah, all the grass, like, from the actual field, we got about three loads of silage, or three loads of grass. So that was 135-ish thousand litres. And the rest of it is literally just a bit a lot of grass collection we did. Just a work around the local area, like, clearing some overgrown grass. And it makes things a bit tidier now. Like, here now, it's like... On there. Obviously, a couple of bits we've missed. We'll go and clip that. But yeah, it just makes the area look more nice. Did some work for the local council. They didn't have to pay us for it. They didn't have to pay money out for it. And it's just basically free grass for us. So yeah, we'll take this over up to the sawmill where we've got the green mill. Because I've got an idea of amping up our... Oof, what's that? You just brake checked me. Darn idiots on the road, you can never trust them. <laughs> well yeah, let's head up to Sawmill quickly and then we'll talk about what I've got planned. And here we are. So, we've got the other tractor up here. That's just so I'll use that to transport this trailer back whilst I take the pickup. And tomorrow we'll go and sell some planks. But we'll worry about that in a moment. But we need to go over here. And again, this is where I would like to have a single. Axle, not a stupid double axle trailer. Fortunately, that's one did not work out well for us, but it was quite big and bulky, so I may this just go through something small like a 20,000 year trailer, 15 ish thousand. Just something you could do, like holes around the farm. So it hasn't taken all that sunflower. No worries. 
So we'll hop out of here. And we'll start moving some of these. Just to the side. Smile our heads on that, because you will lose your heads. Ah, let's move you over. Now, see, this is slowly generating sunflower oil. I mean, some nice income for us there. But yeah, the plan I've got. Obviously, we want to amp up our number. All that. We want to start a proper full on timber empire here, but trees, that's going to be a bit of a factor. And that's why the mine's gone up a little bit as well, since we last seen each other. Cut some trees down, sold a couple of little trees just to clear up the area a little bit. It was only like three or four or five trees, I didn't really show that. But anyway, so if we have a look here at the moment, go up. Obviously, we've got the swimming on that. I've got potential plans of getting a mulching turboed sawmill that can make this look like a little baby. However, the carpentry, we can make a ton of planks potentially. Sorry, a ton of furniture. We can take these planks here, and let's say if there was something over here. So if you go up here, go to productions, factories, and I've got all these buildings here, part of the packing facility, was it the packing facility production, whatever it's called. And basically this takes you all your normal productions and puts a massive turbo on it pretty much, so. Yeah, I'm thinking of something like this. Can place here. Actually, we could do that in the next episode, perhaps. But yeah, something like here. Then we can literally just transport the planks over. Good to have like a dedicated like steel loader or something. So we could go bang to bang, bang to bang. And eventually, with the existing carpentry, we can get rid of this. We can sell it, get our money back. However, the caveat to that is it's going to take forever. Like timber, we're using, let's say, a thousand litres a day. Let's say that at best. So that's 28 months. That's over two years before that clears. The planks, worst case scenario, we can extract those planks, let's say, take them out of the carpentry business and just transport them over so I may do that in the next episode I don't know I see it depends on what we've got going on tomorrow where we're doing harvesting tomorrow but yeah I would like to have a second carpentry in because like well, making the right from planks is a lot now with this other one here this is the second carpentry we can make a buckload of furniture in that so I think, all in all, it'll be worth it. Do we have access to cut trees down up here? No. And they're pretty expensive. So what's this one down here? Get a little drone out. Hard to see, but potentially you can cut some of these trees down. But yeah, a lot to think about, and yeah. I'll give it a good think before I do anything hasty, but on that note, I think that's where we're going to call the episode. So, we've got to have a lot of signage underway. Maybe, well, actually, no, more or less, no, definitely getting the second carpentry. For the sawmill, we could put that down on field 19 when we go and eventually buy that. However, a set costs like 150 grand. Plus, not considering the cost of the field itself. 76 grand also. I want to buy the biogas plant. So, yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of work to do now. But, at least there's a lot of options for to go from here in the future. 
But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not sure about yet, then please consider. But, for I choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, just be far more extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.